Hello friends, this is Saga. Welcome back to Asia. In this video, we will be covering as usual five current affairs questions from the month of March. I wish that you will like the content. So without wasting time, let's begin. Our first question is consider the incorrect sentence regarding allocating symbols to political parties. Since the large section of our voters in our country are illiterate and this symbols helps them to identify the party and it also reflects parties values social base and at some extent their theme as well recently delhi high court upheld the election commission of india's allotment of the two leaf symbols okay two leaf symbols to the aia dmk anna dravida munnetra kagasam as there was a dispute between two rival factions of this party now you might have heard about the charismatic leader jayalalitha who recently passed away she was belonging to this party only so let's have a look to the options a party has to submit an application with their choice of symbol yes right allotment of symbol is made on the basis of majority possessed by party so no this is wrong this allotment of symbol is like a first come first service is given there so this one is wrong so uh, correct option will be b only but have a look at our next options also two or more recognized political political parties can have the same symbol in some conditions obviously there are conditions if the political parties are from different states or uts so they can have the same symbol unrecognized political parties do not have the privilege of uh, contesting election on a fixed symbol no they have to choose the symbol given by the election commissions so let's see the explanation this power flows to election commission via article 324 the section 29a of the representation of the act 1951 governs the election symbols reservation election symbols order 1968 which regulate and govern election symbols of political parties in the country now what is the difference between uh, act and order act is something which is passed by parliament and order is something which is given by supreme court if the order is given by the president then it is called as a ordinance then it is called as ordinance the allotment of symbols is made on the first come first serve basis two or more political parties apply at the same time and opt for the same symbol then allotment is decided on the base base basis of draw of lots now what is this draw, draw of lots means by chance you can say और चिट्ठी निकाल के जैसे हम खेलते थे बचपन में वैसे सो नेक्स्ट इज द रजिस्टर्ड बट अनिकोगनाइज पॉलिटिकल पार्टीज डू नॉट हैव द प्रिविलेज ऑफ कंटेस्टिंग इलेक्शन ऑन फिक्सड सिम्बॉल ऑन देयर ऑन चॉइस दे हैव टू चूज फ्रॉम अ लिस्ट ऑफ फ्री सिम्बॉल्स इशूड बाय ई सी आई यस दिस इज राइट नाउ विच पार्टीज आर रिकोगनाइज एज अ स्टेट एंड नेशनल पार्टीज सो देर आर सम कंडीशन जस्ट लिसन माई वर्ड्स केयरफुली either the party should have secured at least 6% of total valid votes in the last assembly polls and has sent two mls to the legislative assembly this party will recognize as a state party okay there are some other conditions also like uh, if the party secures 3% of total seats in last assembly polls and has sent at least one member to assembly for for every 25 members then also it will be considered as a state party and one more condition is there they should have secured 8% of total valid votes in last assembly polls then also it will be considered as a state party and for national party if the party secures at least 6% of total valid votes in any four or more state in lok sabha or the state legislative assembly and in addition wins four seats in lok sabha or there is another condition also wins at least 2% seats in lok sabha 2% means like, like right now there are 543 members so 11 seats and this member members are elected from the three different states and one more condition is there if the party is recognized as a state party in at least four states then it will be considered as a national party okay i hope you understand so next question find out the correct sentence regarding features of lokpal and lokayukta act 2013 recently the former supreme court judge pinaki chandra ghosh appointed as a first lokpal of india 
so let's have a look to the options appointment of lokpal and was delayed because of absence of leader of opposition obviously it is right there was no leader of opposition since very long time and supreme court intervened finally and set deadlines to appointing the lokpal at the earliest so this is right the next option is the selection committee comprises prime minister speaker of lok sabha leader of opposition and chief justice of india this is right the third option is lokpal member members will consist 50% from judicial members and 50% from sc st obc and minority and women so this is also again right the jurisdiction of lokpal extends to any society or trust or body that receives foreign contribution above 50 lakh so this is wrong this is not a 50 lakh this is a 10 lakh so the correct answer will be c 1 2 and 3 now see the explanation establishment of lokpal for union and lokayukta for states to inquire into allegations of corruption against central public functionary and for state lokayukta lokpal will consist chairperson and maximum of 8 members of this 50% will be from judicial member of judicial members and 50% will be of sc st obc minorities and women anyone uh, their jurisdictions uh, these all peoples comes under the jurisdiction of lokpal any word any kind of body establishment by an act of parliament or wholly partly funded by the center and any society or trust or body that receives foreign contribution above 10 lakh so this is all about lokpal and lokayukta now see the next question us president has officially recognized israeli sovereignty over the occupied golan heights seized from syria in 1967 which of the following sentence is correct regarding locality of golan heights it is a plateau on the syria israel syria border yes right it shares boundary with lebanon and jordan again right it's literal land of mediterranean sea no this is wrong this is not the literal land this golan heights particularly it's not a literal land of mediterranean sea yeah if they have asked for israel then it is a land a literal land okay so that's why the correct options will be 1 and 2 a and why it is important because uh, though india is having good relationship with in israel still it's been in favor of palestine when it came to consideration of jerusalem so that's why it is quite important it's been in news for a while so the golan heights are a 1200 square kilometer plateau on the israel syria border here you can see israel syria border and this is golan heights and it shares boundary with lebanon and jordan and this is sea of galilee and this is mediterranean sea okay now see the next question match the following initiatives taken by rbi with appropriate explanation as we know that rbi established in 1935 which controls the issuance and supply of the indian rupee it was also controlling the monetary policy until 2016 but after that monetary policy committee was established which were looking after the monetary policies now see the options swap facility swift norms offshore rupee markets monetary transmission and the ancillary is increase the supply of rupees in the market to influence the business and households it is a messaging network ensure the stability of the external value of the rupee now we can see that fourth one is correctly matching with the c so c is 4 and 4 so this two one this two are wrong now the answer is between a and b only and we know that swift norms were regarding messaging network it is a messaging network it's been in news because that recently pnb fraud was occurred that nirav modi flee the country so the our correct option will be b now see the explanation the reserve bank of india has introduced a 5 billion dollar rupee swap facility for the banks to facilitate permanent liquidity support now why do we require swap facility though rbi has various monetary tools to manage liquidity such as rupee uh, repo rate bonds etc but still sometimes there is a liquidity crunch in markets and as a result the swap facility was introduced like if markets have been undergoing liquidity problems so this is called as a liquidity crunch so and the next one is 
swift stands swift stands for a society for worldwide interbank financial telecommunications as we mentioned that recently be pnb fraud perpetual by nero modi was a case of misuse of this swift software only okay it is a messaging network it securely transmit the information next one is the offshore money transfer to ensure the stability of the external value of the rupee okay the next one is monetary transmission so this monetary transmission is a mechanism is the process by which general economic conditions are affected as a result of a monetary policy policy decisions okay general economic conditions these are also affected affected that's why this is important and what is this repo rate that uh, rbi lends money to commercial banks this is called as a repo rate and reverse uh, reverse repo rate is vice versa of this see the next question find out the incorrect sentence regarding mission shakti okay recently india has become the fourth power to have this power fourth nation to have this power after russia china and usa so see the options it was the first anti satellite missile testing by india yes right mission shakti falls in the exo atmospheric category yes right india is the fourth state after us russia china yes right cruise missile defense interceptor was used for this test no this is not the cruise missile this was the ballistic missile now see the explanation indian ballistic missile defense program has two broadly defined target tires called indo atmospheric and exo atmospheric exo atmospheric means uh, out of atmosphere and endo atmospheric means within atmosphere mission shakti falls in exo atmospheric category this state test was carried at a lo lower leo to ensure that debris will fall back to earth leo means that uh, low earth orbit is located at altitude between 200 to 2000 km so in this mission shakti program that uh, satellite was destroyed at altitude of 300 km that's why it is mentioned as a lower leo here you can see the scale and this is the mission shakti program and there is another importance of this leo is like uh, most of the communication and navigation satellites are located in this orbit as it provides good service at low cost so this is all thank you for watching have a nice day